Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Rohit Tech, today in this video I am going to show you how to configure web server and how to launch website through DNS and web server in Windows Server 2022. First of all we know about our server. Go to Server Manager. Click on Local Server. Our computer name is, Server. We have not configured any active directory on this server. Nor is it a member of any domain. I have two LAN connection on this server. Our Ethernet 0 IP address is 172.16.0.1. An Ethernet 1 IP address assigned by DHCP. Let's close Server Manager console. To launch a website, first of all, we need to have a complete website. So in this video we will download free sample website from internet. Open web browser. Type google.com. Then press enter. Type in google search bar, download sample website. Let's click on first link, www.freecss.com. These are the free websites templates. I am going to choose second number of website. Let's drop down little bit. Click on download. Website is downloaded, now open the download folder. Let's extract the website. Open website index page. This is our website which we will launch. Let's close web browser. We will copy the folder of this main website and paste it in C drive. And we will name the folder as website. Otherwise, you can also name your website folder according to your own accord. Let's close C drive. Now I am going to install DNS server. Go to server manager. Click add roles and feature. Click next. Click next. Click next. Click DNS server. Click add feature. Click next. Click next. Click next again. Click restart the destination server automatically if required. Click yes. Click install. It will take some time to install DNS server role. Our DNS installation is succeeded on server. Click close. After installation I am going to configure DNS. Click tools. Click DNS. Let's maximize it. Now we will configure the DNS server. First of all we will configure DNS zone. Right click on forward lookup zone then click new zone. Click next. Select primary zone. Click next. Type your domain name in the zone name. stb.local Click next. Click next again. Select, allow both non-secure and secure dynamic updates. Click next. Click finish. 
expand forward lookup zone. As you can see, domain name is showing under forward lookup zone. Now this time to configure reverse lookup zone. Right click on reverse lookup zone. Select new zone. Click next. Select primary zone. Click next. Select IPv4 reverse lookup zone. Click next. Fill network ID. 172.16.0 Click next. Click next again. Select, allow both non-secure and secure dynamic updates. Click next. Click finish. Now I am going to create new host A. Right click on stb.local, select new host A. Type name, fill the name of computer name. Server. Type the IP address of server, 172.16.0.1. Click create associated pointer record. Click on add host. Click OK. Now I am going to create another new host A. Type www. Type the IP address of server, 172.16.0.1. Click create associated pointer record. Click on add host. Click OK. Click done. Click on reverse lookup zone. Right click and select all task. Select update server data file. Right click and click refresh. As you can see our both record updated. Now I am check the ping of our host name and domain name. Go to command prompt. Type ping space www.stb.local. As you can see, our host name and domain name replying, it means all are working fine. Let's close command prompt. Close DNS manager. After DNS works completed, I am going to install web server IIS on this server. Click add roles and features. Click next. Click next. Click next. Select web server. Click Add Feature. Click Next. Click Next. Click Next. Click Next. Click Restart the destination server automatically if required. Click Yes. Click Install. Installation succeeded on server. Click Close. Click Tools. Click Internet Information Services IIS. Let's maximize it. Expand server name. Select Sites. Right click on Sites. Select Add Website. Type the site name, Example Spicy. Click Browse. Select the website physical path. Select IP address, 172.16.0.1. Type the host name, www.stb.local. Click OK. Now our website launching process is complete. Click Browse Website. Click OK.
Now our website launch successfully. Let's close web browser. Now I am going to browse again website. Close IIS console. Open web browser. Type www.stb.local. Look, our website runs successfully. So viewers in this video you can learn, how to launch website on Windows Server 2022. Thanks for watching this video. Please like share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for latest updates.